Hi, this is Kenny Albert. You're watching the Power Play Break, the place to talk about pucks. Back here with Alana Blahosky from the 1998 Winter Olympic Hockey Team gold medalist. Okay, we're going to have some fun now. And uh, I understand you're a vegetarian. No, I was. I oh, was. Oh. Um, I was for like seven years. And when I was training for the 98 team, which was really difficult. I mean, it was time consuming. Uh, and then actually I was working in Salt Lake City for NBC. And um, we had 16 hour days. So we had the choice of chicken or beef. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to waste away if I don't <laughs> eat. <laughs> and I'll never forget. I put the piece of chicken in my mouth and I was like, it's so good. Like, what <laughs> am I, I doing? Vegetarian? Yeah, and then I okay. went on, like, yeah, and I, I, I will never give up meat again. Um, okay. Somebody told me that you're very interested in culinary arts. Yeah. Okay, if you had a restaurant and I was coming to eat at your restaurant, what would be the specialty on the menu you'd tell me, Chris, you gotta have this. This is my specialty. Well, you know what? I'd love to make all sorts of different things. I, I love uh, lamb. I really love to do lamb. Uh, I made a rabbit the other day for the first time, like a roasted <laughs> rabbit. It was unbelievable. Really, you know, delicate meat, really tasty. Um, so yeah, I mean, it would be some sort of meat specialty. Um, I'm really good at like making chimichurri sauce uh, with a flank steak, grilled flank steak. Would you have a nickname for this restaurant? You haven't even thought that far ahead. No, I haven't no? even thought that far ahead. Um, somebody also told me that you inspired at one time to be an actress. I did at one time, yeah. Okay. At one time. If you were to have your life story told, who do you think right now in Hollywood could play you because of the physical aspect of the role they'd have to do with the hockey and, and all the other aspects of it? Wow, I don't, that's interesting. I don't know. I mean, right away I would think like a Sandra Bullock because she seems very like fit and like maybe she has some skating experience. <laughs> um, but I don't know that any other Hollywood uh, actors, uh, female actors, would have um, any sort of experience. If you didn't take up hockey, what would you have done? That's a good question. I, I, you know, I don't know. I thought for a time I wanted to be an environmental lawyer. Um, and then I got picked for jury duty and, and <laughs> felt really bad for, for the defendant and, uh, and decided, you know what, I'm not tough enough for that. Uh, and I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I probably would have followed more of a creative path, like whether it be acting or, uh, or writing, uh, you know, to put my time into that type of thing. Okay, this comes from my daughter. If you had one superpower in the world, what would it be and how would you use it? To fly. I, definitely to fly. <laughs> I mean, how great would that be to fly? Um, and I don't, I mean, I don't know. I would try to, you know, I'd be like Superman, sort of. but. <laughs> Yeah. Super Alana? Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> listen, I would bypass all the heavy traffic when I'm commuting, and, you know, if obviously someone were in, in danger, I would, uh, you know, before they get hit by a, a train or something, I would swoop in, but uh, I, think, I think if you were able to fly, that would be pretty amazing. Favorite athlete of all time or hero outside of sports? Wow. I would have to say favorite athlete of all time. I, I was a huge fan of Pat LaFontaine, like, growing up. No, even more so Neil Broughton. Okay. Neil Broughton. I had a little Broughton shrine when I was a kid, <laughs> and I made, made these hair braids that were like green and gold, Minnesota North Star colors. Mm -hmm. and Somebody outside of sports that you admire? Um, yeah, I, I mean, several people, but I, I do, you know, Bill Clinton. I, I really, um, you know, there's someone who, who, you know, maybe he chose uh, to, to have a little uh, controversy you know, surrounding some of his actions, but you know, he's someone, and he, maybe even more so Hillary, I mean, I, I have to say, you know, it's, it's, it's what you're, it's how you handle what you're, what you're dealt you're with dealt, yeah. in, in life. And, 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 you know, I, I was lucky to meet Bill Clinton after we won the gold medal. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, I, I'm hoping one day to meet Hillary Clinton because I, I think that is a, a strong, intelligent, um, Would you run for political office? Never. Never? Okay. Just one last, I want to put that out there. Never, never. Best piece of advice ever given to you in your life? Wow. Um, <laughs> well, it, it, it's something I, I discovered. Uh, I was reading this book, and it said, you know, it was all about, like, uh, you know, 
gravitational force and like you know bringing things to you. Um, and and it, it spoke about how you should already see yourself, uh, see yourself where you want to be, and 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 tell yourself you know tell yourself of, of of who you want to become now. So I wrote on a, a little card. I said uh, I am an Olympian. And I hung it on my mirror when I was training, and every morning I would say it out loud, so I could hear it and obviously share it with the universe. And um, and I would say it every night. And uh, and and it's it's true when you hear yourself say things out loud, they start to become your your truth, your yeah. reality. So um, you know I don't know if that had something to do with it, but I'd like to believe it did. But I I, I think it's you know positive thinking. Biggest influence in your life? Biggest, my father. My father. My father, for sure. My father. Now, does your brothers, are they envious, or are they, are they like, oh, wow, Alana, we're really proud of you, you won the gold medal? I have, like, the best brothers. <laughs> um, they never call me. They never call me to see how I am. But, you know, I don't think they were ever jealous. I think they were just very proud. I think they were very proud. Um, are they now known as Alana Blahosky's brother and not as their own person because of what you've been accomplished? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, for, for, for hockey and in, yeah. in that sort of world, yeah, you know. Um, but uh, but they were you know they were always supportive like really always supportive. I never had to uh, to have them uh, tell me that I couldn't do it because I was a girl. They just they I did it and they did it with me and it was never this this thing. Well, I want to thank you very much for your insights and your storytelling was awesome. It was oh, great. Thank you. It gave me great insight as somebody who covered you in the '98 Olympics to actually hear what went on. It's just wonderful for me. So thank you very thank much. Thank you. That'll do it for this edition of the Power Play Break. I'm Chris Riley. Remember, the Power Play Break is the place to talk about pucks.